Hi guys, welcome to part 17 of my 2023 Christmas Village full tutorial series. For once, I will try to keep my word and I will work intensively, massively on the last very inaccessible spot I have left on the layout. So let me go to the other camera guys, passing through, sorry, once again. Hello guys, I'm here. Hi, I'm talking about this entire section here, guys. I will try to work intensively here because as you can see, it's not very accessible for, for me. I will need to place some street lamps there. I will need to finalize these monstrous, big, giant, strange building, adding uh, what uh, some lights, obviously. And then I will work on the park section there adding something crazy guys but i will also need to move something a little more towards the outside because here guys with lucy chocolate shop there it's not very accessible the stairs aren't very accessible so i will slide everything towards the outside i will need to modify once again the layout so intensively working there then also adding the walls guys as i always do i will add a wall there on the back uh, but it is a modified uh, background there and i will try to explain everything so let me switch to the other camera once again i'm here guys sorry passing through very very often so something new something old and i also modeled something crazy as always for my park section and I will try to explain everything because I introduced you with a therm last in, la in part 16 with last part cloister gardens I will try to go there I've modeled something I've 3d printed something it's still not finished but <laughs> It's crazy as always, and I wanted something that can remember Norse mythology. Uh, this is a Viking fishing village in an American colony somewhere in Northern uh, America. So why not also trying to get there with some uh, Norse mythology, Norse mythology, Viking mythology, Viking gods, etc. Right now I have just Anubis protecting everything, but this is like having a carnival fair there uh, with some Victorian era carnival fairs. And you know how in Victorian times uh, people were obsessed by Egypt, especially because Egypt was one of the main conquer of the Victorian Empire. So this is a mix between Victorian colony in America in, with Viking fishing village. But Vikings, even if projected towards Victorian era, had a fantastic mythology. You certainly know Thor, you certainly know, know Odin, but there were many other gods. And I will try to explain why in the next minutes. Let's go. Good, let's talk about walls. Each time I have a, a building and behind that building there is a vertical section, a vertical styrofoam section because I use a styrofoam to make levels, I tend to call what it is behind the building and vertical a wall. That wall obviously is pure white because I have used styrofoam. Uh, but I don't like having white, pure white uh, backgrounds, pure white walls behind my buildings. And uh, also you know that I use uh, uh, rock paper to simulate rocks and mountains. But I don't want a rock paper behind my buildings for the first level, at least for the first levels. So the levels where 
uh, I haven't already reached a mountain and getting higher and higher. So that walls, those walls, need to be covered by something that gives you, the viewers, an impression to be in front of a real wall and able to get depth to the point of view. During the years I used many types of walls. The most recent ones are those two, these ones. This is from 90 uh, up to uh, 2021, I think. I used this wall up to 2021 in my Christmas villages. And I generally use a texture, a background that is seamless. What those means, seamless? S E A M L E S S, seamless. It means that if I take a paper and I print some wall on a paper that is 21 centimeters by 29 centimeters, as A4 paper is in centimeters. I must have continuity from one side to the other. So if this is the first part of the wall, I need the second one that is like that to be a continuation of the first part. I will place it like that and I will approach the camera. Maybe it's better like that. So if I place the second part of the wall near the first one, I have continuity, okay? I should have continuity. This is upside down, guys, sorry. It is more like that. No, it was correct, guys. Sorry, I haven't marked up and down, but this is continuity. No, no, it, it's correct like that, okay? I have the bricks, the wall bricks, the stone bricks that gives continuity to the layout. And if I slide and I move this one here and then I continue with the next piece, these two get a continuity. So it gets the bricks can be slided once against the other. Okay, but this was a very dark wall. It is an Italian wall, it is a medieval wall made from stones. Those are not bricks, those are stones, cutted stones, rectangular and squared stones. But it is a little dark. So last season what I did, and it is always like that, so continuity is like that, 21, centim uh, 21 centimeters after 21 centimeters but they are similar, okay? They tend to be each 21 centimeters, I have a pattern that repeats itself. Last season, I used this type of wall here, that is always an, uh, an Italian wall, a medieval Italian wall, but it is very, very, very strange but it also is very, very, very useful because it has different shapes, different stone shapes as real walls will be and also as holes such as little stones fall, fall, uh, fall down from the wall or removed from the wall during the century. This is a 12th century wall, Italian wall, so very ancient wall, seven, more than 700 years old, with some stones maybe replaced during the years when something attempted to destroy the wall. And it has also some vegetation on it, some walls. So I use that, this one because it was very useful. And you can see that I have a pattern that repeats itself each 29 centimeters because this is there, 
this whole year is in here, this whole year is in here, and so on with dessert piece like that. So rock, rock, here the rock, the same rock, the same rock, and then the whole, the whole, the whole. So it's somehow limiting because it's only 21 centimeters. Each 21 centimeters it repeats itself and uh, you can spot it when you use it like this, okay? You can spot it like that because you can recognize that this little part here this little vegetation here is this little vegetation. So it's like I've cut it here to avoid having two holes to the same holes in the same pattern and then continuing. But it is spotable that this is just 21 centimeter. So in this season, what I did, I took the same wall, guys. I took the same wall and this one is 21 centimeters this is an a4 paper almost 21 centimeters no it is 29 centimeters sorry guys i i miss uh this is 29 centimeters so because a4 paper is like this this is an a4 paper so 21 by 20 by 29 29 centimeters but not printed in portrait but printed in landscape like that so my bad this is 29 centimeters okay almost 29 centimeters and this is the wall but instead of having and i haven't cut it because those are 12 centimeters because i generally use 12 centimeters tall levels but this season I have levels that are much more than 12 centimeters in some cases or less than 12 centimeters so I still need to cut them but instead of having those 29 centimeters repeating and having the same pattern I took a picture even more detailed getting 29 more centimeters guys and please look that those 29 more centimeters are not the same 29 centimeters you cannot spot anything that is present here in this second part here that's why i've marked one and two okay so this is the first one this is the second one and it's not repeating itself so this is 29 centimeters plus 29 centimeters and the picture i take is seamless once again so you will not spot that this is not a continuity so this is really uh, not that's simple to show you but like that so the wall continues with not the same pattern after 29 centimeters so 29 plus 29 58 centimeters then dessert one simply because this one will not get continuity if I place it like that and you can spot that the bricks, the stone, the stone bricks aren't suited to use with just two pieces. That's because after the first one and then the second one, the picture I took, allow me to use not more 29 centimeters but 20 more centimeters 20.5 more centimeters getting this there so my walls will be 79 centimeters my pattern will repeat itself 
after 79 centimeters and it's not a spotable I can assure you that if a building is there then a second one is here then a third one is here this will not be the same uh, background wall then the next one and I can show you will repeat itself after those three ones if I place this one here it continues and it is perfectly aligned the stone walls the stone bricks are perfectly aligned so each 79 centimeters that's an improvement to get a background wall that will not be spotable as something repeating itself too much and i printed many times the part one guys because i marked there I don't know if you can see, but part one, obviously this will be part two, and then this will be part three, three, there, okay? So 79 centimeters, and I can go up from zero centimeters to 21 centimeters of wall but i don't have 21 centimeters i have 24 centimeters in a case but i will use something different so this is the new wall for this set for this season and i also improved the camera so the this was a little fade the what I took last season was a little fade the colors weren't that vivid colors and you can see if I approach the camera that those colors are more realistic than those one I used a 4k camera in this case I haven't used a 4k camera in this case just a, an HD camera not full HD camera in this case a 4k camera in this case color are more vivid and more realistic and this was like fading colors but this is good colors and the colors are not that dark they are very bright so it's like having a good a very good background the background wall with this vegetation there that also gives impression of depth so guys i will use in the next minutes these new walls this new wall and please also look at how dark was this one compared to the new one very dark that's why i love this it's pure luck that i found this wall here Ta -da! let's continue with something else now let me work a little on this big building and let me call it a chapel even if i will not use it as a chapel with no priest at all but this chapel here needs some lights the stairs will be completely in shadows otherwise then also this section here will be in plain shadow and even this little area here, maybe I will add a little light. The problem, the problem is that it's not easy to get lights on top of here. Maybe there, yes, but I'm not sure about it. I will need to uh, think about a solution to have lights. Maybe I will have to drill some holes but let's start with the with the stairs and let me show you what i modeled i modeled this little piece here and this little piece here is something artistic let's say but with a pipe there that has an hole in it and the pipe comes out from this little hole here 
and by pure chance, guys, no, not by pure chance, but, oops, sorry for the camera. This little piece will be suited to get in this spot there, okay, in that spot there. But like that, what does it mean? Nothing. But if I take to the scene some other pieces like this one, then this one, then this one, and I will approach the camera. This will be the support, this will be the uh, below section, this will be the top section, and this will be the lantern section. So, this is printed with the resin printer, the PLA printer, simply because it's too small to have it printed regularly with an FDM printer. Those two pieces here are white PLA, printed with the filament printer. This one is PETG, it is a transparent filament, okay, such as glass would have been. So I modeled this to get assembled in this way, guys. This on the bottom there. Let me use my right hand, maybe it's better like this, with in the middle the lantern and then on top the rest. Obviously you are wondering why such a pipe? This pipe will accommodate those two very thin wires. What I made here I took a very bright white LED between 30,000 and 40,000 lumens or Kelvin, okay? Then I attached a positive and a negative. In this case, red is positive and yellow is negative wire. And then this will get inside. I will not show you how I um, soldered this little guy here because you have already seen me doing it many many times. I will insert this into the lantern section like this and the LED is a five millimeters rounded LED so it doesn't get out from the base. Okay, then those two wires will go inside here like that and I modeled this to have it coming out you can see that the wires come out from this little hole there then the wires will get inside this pipe here Let's hope it's the right dimension, yes. And then I will bring like that and get it connected. Okay, let me use some of my resin, the same technique I've used it to glue together the two pieces, some resin. I will put some resin here. Okay. Then I will take my UV lamp and 
UV lamp. Then I will connect and from the other side too. Good. Okay. Then what I did here before painting everything, I painted the inside of the top with some iridescent silver. You can see that the top here is pure white, then the inside, what will go inside towards the LED has some iridescent painting. I've used some acrylic iridescent silver paint. Okay, two layers. Why? Simply because otherwise the LED that has the projection of 60 degrees, as I told you many times, this is an LED and LEDs don't get light around it, but it has a ray of light like this of 60 degrees towards the top of the LED. I want the uh, lights to be refracted towards the down, towards down, towards the bottom. So that's why I use the some iridescent silver to let the light bounce against the iridescent silver and go once again back towards the inside of the lantern like that good now So, what will I use? I will use not the same, obviously, but I will use this little lantern here that, he, that I modeled for the dock section of last season. Uh, project and inside it I will place one micro LED pure white bright micro LED but those are 4.5 volts so that's why they are more intense okay and they will go inside here okay i simply need to enlarge a little more the hole and then the micro led sorry guys i need to approach but i don't know if i will be able to do it yes like that and the micro LED gets inside it. Then I will use, and a pole like that, that I hope will fit
good. I think I've made a good progress on this. Let's check the four LEDs. One, two, three, and four that will illuminate everything, plus this one here that will bring light to the stairs and etc. Okay. Uh, I don't think right now I will do... Oh yes, by the way, I also added this little flag here, uh, simply 3D modeled, 3D printed and then added this little flag. I will need to do an intense work as always on painting, but this is complete guys. One, two, three, four, five LEDs there. Let's continue with something else. Now, let me talk about something mad, something crazy, something out of I don't know where that I decided to 3D model and then to 3D print, not yet finished guys, to complete my park section. I told you in part 16, my idea of a cloister garden. But what is a cloister garden? A garden is, like the words say it, says it, a garden inside a cloister. And the cloister is inside a monastery. Let me bring paper, paper, paper. If you have now oh, let me just go crazy as I want. Something squared. Normally they are squared. And they are surrounded by columns and porches. So this is the free part. This is a squared garden. Inside you can have some statues from the top. Huh? This is from the top, statues, uh, you can have uh, some ponds, okay, and all around it you have uh, some sort of and some sort of columns Okay, like that, and you can get through, so this is from the front view, and where monks or nuns can get around, this is surrounded by some other buildings, okay, buildings, buildings, buildings and buildings. Inside you have, I don't know, kitchens, uh, you have uh, the dorm rooms, etc. And here you can get, when it rains, you can get something covered by an arcade porch, okay? And they can take a walk all around. And if it is winter, okay, under the porch. But if it is spring or summer with some opening there uh, even monks and nuns can utilize can use these gardens here it's some sort of uh, giving uh, monks and nuns the ability to get in contact with something beautiful as a garden without exiting the monastery because sometimes you can't exit the monastery so this is a cloister garden from the top, very roughly sketched, okay, uh, dorms, okay, this is a kitchen, or oh, maybe this is, uh, I don't know, uh, church entry, okay. This may be the church entry from this side, okay, and 
can get a walk around. Okay, very roughly done as always. So obviously I don't have a monastery, yes, I have a cathedral, yes, I have a, a scriptorium on the top level, but there, on the ground level, on the second level, just behind the uh, docks, here I have the docks, and just behind the docks I have a free space. So guys, what I did, I start modeling, and I divided it by in four because it is gigantic. Let me bring to you those three pieces of four pieces, okay? And those are interchangeable. I haven't marked them, so most probably I will make a mess. This is not the good one. This is the good one. Maybe yes. This is the good one. And then I made a third one. Is this one? No, it is this one. Okay, guys. Just imagine that I still miss one part. Okay? This is 36, if I remember it correctly. 34, 35. 35 by 35 centimeters. It is a square head. Okay? And I went with some hedges there and those will be hedges edges 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 all around this is in plain middle i don't know if i will get some statues or something else or some big giant uh, christmas tree there and those are benches guys let me bring something and those are benches, I was saying, that are in scale with the Limax, Lemax figurines, guys. Like that, and maybe like that, to get access to everything. I cannot show you exactly, but this is the figurine that is exactly the same width. Can get one or two. A single or a double figurine like that. So one, two, three, four entry in the middle. Four benches. Sorry guys, I still miss one part, but just re I want to tell you that each of the single parts takes 17 hours to print. So almost a day to print one single part. I finished model at that this uh, Wednesday, so Wednesday night, uh, Thursday night, Friday night, and yesterday I haven't uh, printed anything, so I just had some other things to do, not related to my Christmas village. And this will be a cloister garden for me. This will be a garden inside, maybe I will add also some uh, street lamps or some little lamps here and there, maybe behind, because not here in the corners, okay? And this will be my cloister garden. Oh, obviously, I still need to print the trees. Here I have a, a piece of a tree, another piece of the tree, another piece. Each single part here has one tree there. But you also have one spot, two spot, three spot and obviously four spots here for what and that is where i am crazy i told you in the during the intro that i wanted something related to norse mythology norse mythology is viking mythology so maybe one two three and four gods, Viking gods, okay guys, and this is what I want for my last free spot, 
it's nothing like that, it still needs to be printed, but it is gigantic, massive. Why I am missing this part? Because yesterday I started modeling and finished modeling and now it has finished printing one of the gods. Let me try to show you what it will be. So, you will immediately recognize it. I will start with this little one here, guys. Right now, it's nothing. I don't, didn't want something gigantic, okay, but something good enough to be seen from the distance. I will shut up and assemble this. Well, guys, I think that now you have recognized him. It's nothing else than a Thor with his armor, with his thunder. And I didn't want something violent. I didn't want uh, having gods attacking someone. Just pure, simple gods like that. Not a... Uh, an act of violence, okay? No gods will be involved in any act of violence, okay? And if you want to see
let me approach this not too big but not even too small and the gods will be I don't think I will go this way towards the inside I think I will go more like this okay more like this and I I know you aren't seeing anything right now but this is how I want my cloister garden
final recap of part 17 of the 2023 series and I am starting from the unfinished Cloister Garden. I will let you see more closely Thor there with the hammer in his right hand, the thunder in his left hand and I've tried to detail it as much as I could. Uh, it is also taking off from the ground <laughs> and flying with the his thunder. Okay, uh, this is how I intend my four Viking gods, my four Norse gods. Vikings were a violent people, were violent people, and I don't want violence in this cloister garden. So no one of the four gods will be involved in any act of violence. Simply a pose, a strike a pose <laughs> of a normal day of their lives. Okay? And from this other angle too. Okay? And the base, guys, I've used some... I don't know what I wrote because I went randomly with some um, North, Norse or Viking symbols there. But I, I absolutely don't know what I wrote on it. Okay, and it will be usable as you can see with the four benches and everything else. I have slided 10 more centimeters towards the outside the stairs there in order to have that, that space there from the building to the stairs having a more suitable passage for everyone. Here I will get I think there so here it will be a little narrower as a passage but it is like that. The chapel I named it the chapel with the uh, four and five lamps there, lanterns there, and the wires. You have seen me uh, placing the um, the cord, the power cord for Nora's Christmas boutique, as I always do. But I haven't finished to place the cords, the power cords for the chapel, simply because I need to paint it. Then in the front, the park will have these this little uh, shape there maybe a tree there a tree there some benches and something else some trees there i also placed uh, the first uh, street lamp for this left section there but i am not certain where to place the other street lamps because i will need to finish this section here so I will wait for that and the background the wall guys is there and it's seamless okay I've tried to get uh, as much as possible in the um, the connection invisibles okay I've not glued the um, the background there the background wall but I've used some pins to pin uh, Car carton uh, because that's not paper that's 240 grams sheet of paper okay and I pinned it with some pins there nothing has changed ah yes I've added these three more centimeters there and this will allow me to have a decent scene there because three centimeters you think it's uh, nothing but it's so much space, three centimeters. So now I have a regular wall all along this section. Um, I've <laughs> dismantled that section in order to work there, guys, because I had to work from the top because the wall there was inaccessible. And uh, now my back hurts a little bit, but who cares? I will do anything for my village guys so this is all I did for this section and now you know why I missed this part here Wednesday Thursday 
Friday. This would have been a Saturday, but instead I modeled and printed this one. So this part is missing because of him. But I wanted to show you what I had in mind with this cloister garden. So at least one of the gods is there. Maybe I will go with two male gods and two female gods. Right now, I don't know. Obviously, I will go with here or there, Odin. It's mandatory to have Odin there. Then, I don't know yet. I, I, I'm, I, I still need to decide what uh, female god to, to use there. They weren't... Uh, they aren't very known as Viking gods, female gods, but, or goddess, I don't know right now, but they were also very important in the North, uh, Norse mythology, Norse mythology, Viking mythology. Two, someone in very strange pose, I think, but I haven't modeled them yet, so I just have in mind a a configuration, uh, a pose for each of them, but I don't know. And this trick there to use the cloak, okay, to use the cloak as a suspension from the base and have uh, Thor uh, flying off from the ground, it took me one hour to figure out that I could use the cloak there. Simply because <laughs> I modeled the cloak the first time getting backward and when I tried to model it getting uh, frontward there I had the illumination there like a minion guys <laughs> I was illuminated by that possible otherwise the first pose I made was with Thor having one feet on the floor and the second feet and the second foot, one foot, sorry, singular, one foot on the floor and the second foot getting away. But it wasn't a very normal pose, but in this case, yes, absolutely yes. Okay, good, uh, and it is usable. Here in the middle, if I use a tree, I don't know, I, I still miss two big... Um, Christmas tree one there maybe or maybe a fountain. I don't know guys. It's very late as always Here nothing has changed. Yes, the wall also there behind and I went regularly now the stairs that was uh, there to the left of Anubis uh, Will not fit anymore Simply because I added the nine more centimeters in the space that was there to have the wall perfectly aligned. So now I need to figure out a different way of climbing that 12 centimeters there because here you have 15 centimeters and there you have 12 centimeters. Cathedral, I've 3D printed some more fences there. I still need to, um, to paint them. And I've slided towards the right the entrance there, the portal there. Otherwise, in last in last part it was behind the elevator, so useless because it's a, a good design there. It's a good design, but having it hide it behind the elevator wasn't that smart. Okay, so I've added a little piece of. Uh, um, half of a fence there and then everything is lighted towards the right here nothing has changed guys no nothing has changed it's no absolutely nothing it's the same I haven't touched anything there uh, not too much but believe me modeling that piece there wow Sunday night, Monday night, Tuesday night, and then half of Wednesday night. <laughs> Just for that, uh, 
12 hours of modeling Saturday for tour. So you can understand why <laughs> there isn't much done right now. And I've used the same mini lamps, mini street lamps I used in the dock session uh, from last season. And that lantern there, I think maybe it is a little gigantic, but it was the only way to get an LED in the air and having a good area illuminated. Okay. Uh, it's almost there guys, no more buildings and here the Tannenbaum clock tower disappeared, vanished, poof. And I still have a problem with that piece that will add movement somehow because here I don't have movement. Yes, I have the giant fairy wheel there that has movement. But here, no movement at all, no movement, no movement, no movement, no movement, movement here, there because the water is in movement and then the windmill there is in movement. Compared to the other building, to the other, to the pa to my past um, Christmas villages, there is less movement. Uh, if I try a good, if I find a good spot for that piece there, I will add it. But right now, I don't know where to place it because there I will have some benches, some trees, etc. I don't know. Here, no, because I will hide the point of view for what it is behind. There, I don't have any space. I already have the ice pond there. So, very few spots here. I cannot have them because it will prevent everything for from accessing everyone and everything to access the docks there i don't know guys here if i place it there um, i will block the view for the park maybe i have a spot up there in the middle between the scriptorium and the cathedral but I think it's heretic to have a snowman, a snowman like that in between a cathedral and a scriptorium. Mm. No, guys. <laughs> no, absolutely not. Too heretic for that. And what else? Nothing else, guys. Still need to find a place for the hot air balloon. And the yellow and blue one, maybe I will get it there uh, or there or maybe there. Um, but the giant buildings and the main features are now done. See you for the outro. Oops, the balloons, guys, for the carnival section there. I completely forgot about them, but. They are either there behind the yellow building and I don't know why. So, imp so impossible for me to remember about them. My bad. I will use them very, very soon. I think it's time to say stop, to say enough to my madness, to my craziness. The cloister garden with the four Viking gods, the four Norse gods, will be the last creation, the last production of my insanity. I hope. We just entered November and it is time I start to consolidate everything I left in the midst of time without completing uh, them. Uh, I just have a doubt what color to use for the four Viking gods. Should I go the same way as I did with Anubis and paint them completely bronze? Or should I use different colors? But they are statues, they are not figurines. So right now, I don't know. Maybe you can suggest a solution for that. Uh, luckily for me, I will have a national holiday in the middle of the week, so I can concentrate on 
uh, advancing on some painting. The rest, the rest I can say that I almost have everything I want for this 2023 Christmas village. Maybe one more uh, outer balloon, but I don't know where to place them. But I will get a solution by part 18. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment and give big thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Thank you for bearing, guess what, my impossible English, my awful English, and see you for part 18, but only if you really want it. Bye, guys.